As you can see, we are currently outside Woodbrook Secondary School, situated on French Street in the vicinity of Woodbrook in Port of Spain. Now, the aim of the Form 5 Geography SBA was to determine the extent to which vegetation influences temperature, specifically looking at two locations. Number one, the corner of Baden Powell and French Street, and also number two, um, at the Augustus Williams Park, situated 190 meters west of location one. Now, location one, which is at the corner of Baden Powell and French Street, has absolutely no vegetative cover, and the ground layer is in fact encompassed by concrete and asphalt. While location two, which is at the Augustus Williams Park, has significant vegetative cover, and the ground layer is in fact encompassed by soil and leaf litter. Now the students were in fact asked to carry with them two yellow back mercury thermometers for simultaneous readings where a particular group at location one and also location two uh, would in fact utilize. Also writing materials were inclusive of notebooks and their pens, um, also a watch for determining the time to which these particular readings were taken. Now when conducting this particular exercise, um, students had to ensure the following. Now first and foremost, readings were to be taken at eye level and the students in each group had to corroborate these readings in an attempt to minimize error. Secondly, um, the temperature readings were only taken when there were no clouds obscuring the sun um, at that given point in time, of course. Now thirdly, for each of the temperature readings, the thermometers were allowed to acclimatize for an estimated 30 to 60 seconds at each of the location. Now, there were also some uh, extended waiting periods, um, especially when the clouds were impeding the sunlight and students, uh, well, had some time to entertain themselves. Now, as usual or as expected, many field exercises, I'm sure, conducted in many schools are often given the attention um, by many onlookers. Um, in this particular instance, um, the students were in fact gifted by the presence of the police from the Mounted Branch Long Circular Division um, where they were actually speaking about the reason behind um, their exercise, right? which was obviously for the school-based assessment of the SBA. Eventually, the students made their way back to the school compound, the geography lab, where they eventually tabulated the data and they reviewed the data. Now, there are in fact certain hints right, that are associated with the analysis and discussion of this particular SBA. Um, students are in fact advised to make mention of the following, inclusive of the albedo, the urban heat island effect, and also draw comparisons from the data, from the table and their appropriate graphs as to what patterns you can actually observe. Now, what is the albedo? The albedo is, in a, is a term which refers to the ratio of the reflected radiation to that of the incoming solar radiation. All right, we know for sure urban environments have a higher albedo because the ground surfaces are concrete and tarmac and paved areas. They radiate a lot more heat. Hence, the albedo is higher for urban environments. Whereas the rural communities, they have a lot more vegetative cover and the albedo tends to be lower, primarily because trees actively utilize the thermal energy, the warmth, and also the light, sunlight, to photosynthesize, which is something very, very significant. Like I mentioned, temperature um, comparisons should be made as well. Students are also advised to draw comparisons, temperature um, data comparisons from the tables and the graphs, and utilize that in terms of uh, making deductions, um, providing some level of explanation. All right? Okay, thank you. Which temperature? Temperature right now is 